he has stories about his children, you know, being molested, being beat. You know, this is not right, you know. Let us protect our own children. We don't need a government to pay these people to protect our children. You know, this has been going on is these people that are taking these kids in are making up to $500 a month per child. Then you get Medicaid, then you get food stamps. So it's a market. So they can sit at home, have four kids, and make two, three grand a month. So it's a market. Even the agent that has put these, takes these kids out of the home get a commission on each child they take. So that's an incentive to take these kids from these homes. For every one neglected child taken, there are 17 children taken from good homes. That's actual statistics. With numbers like that, with a 30 or 40 percent substantiation rate, why are they even in business? Child abuse is a crime. Let the police investigate it, and if someone abused a child, put them in jail. Yes. We are for people abusing children going to jail. They're not following their own procedures. They don't give an attorney to the person in youth court. You're not allowed to have a witness at youth court. So it is the parent versus the judge, the guardian ad litem that has coffee with the judge, and the DHS worker. And the burden of proof is based on their opinion, not fact of law. More people need to file writs of habeas corpus, pull it to chancery or federal court, and watch how quickly those cases drop because there most of the time is no fact of law to take these children. Most of these families need help not to be destroyed.